Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to open a box and, and do an uh, install of a Raspberry Pi uh, Zero wireless uh, that is plugged into my Prusa MK3. I got a package sent from Joe Mike at 3dkc.net where he has prepared a, a Raspberry Pi board and um, made the headers uh, and spacers for the Raspberry Pi. So it's a install that goes into the back side of the NC board. But uh, to do this, we have to take apart the electronic box and, and it's recommended to uh, install a new case for the electronics box and I've printed that out. So this will be a project video on, on my installation process. Joe Mac has done an excellent job doing step-by-step uh, -step instructions on the, the 3dkc.net website. And it's uh, straightforward, but you just have to be careful with the cables and, and make sure you plug everything correctly in. And, and you should have the Prusa manual at hand when you plug everything back in so you don't mix up the wires. But uh, let's get started. I'm going to unbox uh, what is inside the packets I got and then do the installation. And, uh, Let's have a look after the intro. So I've removed the shipping label from the box, but it's a small box with uh, everything needed except the printed uh, electronic box. So in, in this box, uh, first you get a, a notification. Uh, this is like a quick start guide and it reminds you that you have to get the newest firmware and there is uh, there was an issue uh, with the previous firmware on the MK3 but now with the latest firmware uh, that you have to make sure you have so you don't get issues and uh, here's an email for the support if you run into trouble but uh, this is a, like a welcome note, but here on the back side is the is basic instructions on the steps needed on uh, preparing the network uh, information on the SD card. So your Pi will connect to the network and uh, then uh, on the website th there is uh, on the KC, 3dkc.net slash setup is a step-by-step -step manual with photos and very good instructions on, on every step of the way. So this is uh, on top of the packets. And, uh, what I got was a uh, preloaded SD card with the uh, Octopi uh, image prepared with the correct settings. There are quite a number of uh, custom settings that you have to do for this install, so it's uh, a great option if you're going to buy this to get the pre-built pre image uh, on the while you're or ordering the part from Jomac. I also uh, got uh, four Jomac Terranella stickers, and there are awesome stickers like the Ninja Turtles style font. Uh, so I got four of those. I'm going to place them. Uh, on my uh, enclosure and 3D KC stickers as well. So that's awesome to get stickers. Um, but inside here um, is a, a Haribo <laughs> Gold Bears candy. So that's always a good one to get a piece of candy. Uh, but then there's uh, the board itself, the Raspberry the Pi Zero. Um, Uh, what Joe Mike has done is, is printed this spacer and installed that and also uh, he has prepared the correct headers so those headers uh, slide into holes in the back side of the NC board and, and those pins are uh, in the correct place and order to to, to plug in and, uh, and the spacer is uh, in the correct thickness so he has prepared all the soldering uh, work and, and 
figuring out the correct placement. So it's well worth it to to get this prepared from him. This is what I get got in the in the box. What I noticed when I was reading the manual, uh, there has been uh, a new image to put on the SD card. So I'm currently just downloading and, and will be reflashing the SD card with the newest image. So uh, that's just uh, something you should look at if you if you got your uh, Raspberry uh, image. But you might might have done a newer version than you got shipped. So always check his website before you continue. So I'm just uh, waiting for the download. So now I've uh, installed the new image, and uh, the first thing you have to do is to input your Wi-Fi uh, shared ID and, and password. And I'm not gonna do a share screen <laughs> of my network information, but the uh, instruction state that uh, you have to configure the Octopi slash network .txt file uh, with your network information. And there is a sample that you can just type in your new SID and uh, SSID and, and uh, password. So it's really easy to just edit this file. So what I did before, I printed out in Petchy uh, a new uh, electronic case uh, that has uh, a door system so you can uh, get access to the to the Pi without having to take out the electronic box because it's uh, placed at the back of the NC board so you can't have any access to it unless you print this out and have a door and just in case you need to re-emit the, the the SD card or, or do any maintenance, uh, you want to have uh, easy access to the NC port backside. So this case is a, a file on Thingiverse that uh, is pointed out on the instructions. So this is, is a recommended thing to print out before you before you start. But uh, the next step is is really to just open up the electronic box and and, and unplug everything and, and prepare. Uh, to remove the NC port from the current casing, so this will uh, this be a, maybe a time lapse video of that process, uh, and I will talk in between if there is something <laughs> to say. <laughs> but uh, just to have the Prusa manual at hand uh, when you're reassembling everything for the, to make sure you got your cables right. So I'm gonna just start taking things apart. Here the screws that are in the original case, you have to, uh, the nuts, you have to take them out and um, put them in the new one. So make sure you don't uh, lose those four nuts. So now I put the NC port in a new case and I still have to finish up the wires. I didn't disconnect the wires, uh, I didn't find it to be necessary, uh, but just make sure you go over all of the connections uh, so everything is uh, still connected. So double check that at this stage.
So now I have put the cables back in. It's uh, always quite difficult to get this part in correctly, but uh, it's a tight, tight fit. But uh, now I can uh, put the case back on the printer. Now, before I continue with the actual installation, I want to make sure all the cables are working correctly. So I'm going to do the self-test procedure on the printer, just to save me trouble of having to uh, take the NC port out again if, if I missed some cable uh, that was connected incorrectly or, or moved. So I'm just going to do the simple self-test. So to run the self-test, you go into the menu and go into calibration and self-test. So the self-test finished without any errors, so I guess all the electronics are still connected in a correct way. So the next step is to install the Pi at the back of the NC port. So before you continue, just make sure you disconnect the power and have the power supply turned off. So you don't want to connect the Raspberry Pi into the NC port with the power still on. So just make sure that is set. So here at the back of the energy board is a, are holes in the PCB and the headers on the, the Pi uh, go into that hole. So uh, I've already put the SD card into the, the Pi and you remove this and uh, carefully plug in the Pi. Now it's set inside. Uh, the, the bottom uh, connectors go at the bottom holes in the in the board, and there's no screws uh, uh, to fix the board. The plug holds it in good position, and because of the spacer uh, I showed earlier, uh, the the pie rests in a good position here on the back side of the board. So now the next thing is to power up the printer and, and see what happens. So now I'm going to turn on the power. And I don't get any blue, blue smoke, so that's, that's good. Um, now the instructions tell you to make sure you have the correct firmware. And I'm just going to verify uh, I have the release candidate 5 or the 3.11 release candidate 5 firmware and that's the latest uh, firmware as of date so this is the correct one and in the instructions uh, he tells you to do the self-test I already did that uh, but uh, I'm gonna turn on the Pi port uh, in the settings Here's the pipe port on. And it uh, recommends that you disable crust detection. I already have that off. So uh, I was using OctoPi just with a USB cable. And uh, this crust detection was, was giving the issue. So it's already off. So now the pipe port is, is on. So now after I uh, turned on the Raspberry Pi, I restarted the printer and, uh, and I noticed in my DHP server uh, there was a new uh, MAC address showing up. So what I did, I created a DNS entry on my local network for that IP and reserved that in the DHP server. So uh, 
now I can connect to the Pi on a web browser and get the OctoPi uh, interface coming up. So the wireless network configuration is working and the, I noticed the, uh, there is a 3D KC test decode on the on the file. I haven't uh, printed that out, but I'm going to do that just now. And I'm heating up the printer, so uh, I would say this installation was uh, a success. I'm going to try the print, and if if that comes with an error, I will have to do. But uh, for now, uh, I'm going to start the print and and see how it goes. And one thing to note: I noticed when. Uh, I was reading the instructions for the new image. Uh, you have to do some comments via putty by connecting to the Pi uh, and expand the root file system. Uh, so I'm going to do that. That's just a simple Linux command to expand the file system. So that's nothing special, but uh, you should know that you have to do that if you, if you download the new image. So now basically the last thing to do is, is to put on the cover. It uh, goes in like this and there are two screws that you get from the spare back. Uh, they are M4 uh, 10mm screws. Just align the, the screws with the plastic parts. And don't have to tighten those very well, just put them in. And so now the hardware installation is, is, is finished and the Octopi is, is working and I'm going to start the print. So I just uh, initiated the print of a decode I had uh, and the printer went into heating so at least there is uh, communication from the Octopi to the printer, so that's a good good sign. So I'm just gonna let the print carry on and get back to you when the print has, has finished. So now the test print finished and I can remove it from the bed. It was just a simple uh, Prusa logo. So it was just a quick, quick and easy, easy print. It took maybe 18 minutes or so. So uh, this obviously is working. Uh, I have set up the API key in the process slicer to connect directly to the Octopi installation. So from slicer I can send the pr process decode directly to the printer and that is also working. So uh, every aspect of this installation went smooth and, and is working without any, any issues. So there's one thing I have to research a little bit because uh, now the Octopi is powered by the printer. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, turning off the printer by the button is, is a good thing for the Octopi installation. Uh, maybe you have to shut down the Octopi installation before you shut down the printer. I have to research a little bit uh, about this to see if the headers on the Pi will detect it and, and shut it down in a proper way or how it handles uh, if I press the power button on the printer. But uh, that will be uh, probably some forum read-up <laughs> I should do or, or ask someone who has experience with this. So as for this installation project, uh, it was in no way meant to be a, a guide how to install the Pi Zero or, or the process, just my experience doing the process and I found it extremely easy. Uh, one thing I, I skipped in the instructions, I didn't disconnect all the electronic wires. I didn't find the need to do that. Uh, uh, but uh, if you want to make sure uh, you're doing everything by the book, maybe you should. But uh, I found it unnecessary, at least in my experience. I'm quite used to electronics, so as I'm, <laughs> that's one of my profession. So uh, I didn't find any issues with this, but uh, this was a great experience and very uh, good instructions on the website. And I thank Joe Mike Ternella, especially for creating this uh, Pi pre-sorted and ready to go. And he sent this to me as a gift. So I thank him again for, for that. So I'm really happy to get this from him. 
So uh, I think for now uh, this will be it. Uh, this was a success, this project, and I'm really happy. So for now, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.